Hello everyone, I'm Jensen. Today is Wednesday, February 3rd, and from stimulus progress to a new way you can report unemployment identity theft in Ohio, I have all the stories you need to know to get in the loop today. And we're getting some sunny skies today, but there's frigid cold on the way this weekend. So I'm going to pass things off to First Alert meteorologist John Birchfield. A bit of a milder one today with temperatures climbing up into the mid 30s. Tomorrow going to start things off dry for your Thursday. So if you do have outdoor things you need to get done, the morning looks totally dry, but you will notice that cloud cover starting to thicken up. And that is the sign of that cold front that will arrive tomorrow evening evening commute. Maybe you have to take the kids somewhere for after school activities. You'll notice snow starting to roll in out of the west. It's going to be a wet packing snow, but also could see a little rain mixed in there uh, with temperatures hovering right around freezing. You'll notice the green shows you rain, the pink a little bit of that wintry mix. And then of course the blue indicates snow. Could see some slushy accumulations as we dry things out for your Friday morning. In total, just expecting around a slushy inch in Toledo, maybe up towards Hillsdale and Adrian, closer to two inches of snow by Friday morning. And behind that weather system, the coldest days of the winter season, the first of which on Saturday, a series of first alert days due to the threat for some potentially hazardous cold. Next week, overnight lows dipping down below freezing. And how long will this last? Well, seeing some signs we might warm up a little bit into next weekend. But all in all, I think this is the coolest stretch we will feel all winter long. And yesterday I broke down the differences between Biden's plan and the GOP plan for the next stimulus package. But we're now learning that there's a big push underway to move forward with Biden's plan. Biden's proposal runs at $1.9 trillion, and the Republican alternative has a price tag of just $618 billion. After meeting with the 10 GOP senators who sponsored the bill, Biden called the Republican option insufficient. And while no compromise was reached during the late Monday session, White House talks with Republicans are privately underway. But even as the White House continues to reach for a bipartisan bill, Democrats marshaled their slim Senate majority voting 50 to 49 to start a lengthy process for approving Biden's bill with or without GOP support. Senate Republican leader Mitch McConnell criticized the Democrats for pressing ahead on their own, saying they've chosen a totally partisan path. The goal is to have COVID-19 relief approved by March when extra unemployment assistance and pandemic aid expires. And in Ohio, hundreds of law enforcement agencies will soon be able to buy body-worn cameras through a $10 million grant Governor Mike DeWine proposed today. My goal is every police officer in the state of Ohio to have a body camera. I think it protects police, it protects the public. It's good to have that transparency. As of right now, only 183 of the state's roughly 900 law enforcement agencies have body cameras for officers and are following the standards set by the Ohio Collaborative Community Police Advisory Board. DeWine said the cost of the camera technology and storing the footage and even hiring people to fill public records requests for that footage is incredibly expensive for midsize and rural police departments. This $10 million grant under DeWine's proposed two-year, $75 billion budget for the business year beginning in July comes after two high-profile police shootings in Columbus back in December. Both the cases of Andre Hill fatally shot by a Columbus police officer and Casey Goodson Jr. fatally shot by a Franklin County Sheriff's deputy shed light on the issue of body-worn cameras in use of force cases. Now, DeWine didn't discuss either case, but he did say that agencies eligible for the grant must follow the state's standard for body cameras by using them properly properly and turning them on when coming in contact with a suspect where force might be used. DeWine also laid out his plans to allocate a million dollars to diversify agencies so that officers reflect the communities they serve. And if you want to learn more about the state's budget in terms of law enforcement, I have a link in the description of this video. And also for you Ohioans, have you received a form in the mail for unemployment benefits that you never claimed? You are likely a victim of identity theft and you are the only one. The Better Business Bureau is warning of widespread unemployment identity theft fraud. Receiving that 1099-G form when you haven't received benefits is a sign your identity has been stolen. And it's important to know that you could be on the hook for paying taxes if that doesn't get sorted out. If you think your personal information has been stolen and used to file a fake unemployment claim, there is a toll-free hotline from the Ohio Department of Job and Family Services you can call. That number is 833-658-0394, and you can reach out from 8 a.m. until 5 p.m. Monday through Friday. Plus, there's an online portal available so you can report that identity theft. Just go to unemploymenthelp.ohio.gov and click on Report Identity Theft. It's pretty straightforward. 
an online guide will walk you through how to report that theft, how to file your taxes, and how to protect your identity. And if you have questions or concerns about the coronavirus or about the vaccine and its effects, there is a local virtual event that's happening tomorrow that you should definitely check out. The University of Toledo is continuing its COVID-19 virtual town hall series with another expert panel that will provide the latest perspective on the pandemic and take live questions from the audience. So that virtual town hall is again tomorrow from 5 to 6 p.m. and that's through WebEx. Don't know what that is? Well, that's okay. I have a link in the description of this video that will take you where you need to go. And while we're at it, I'm giving you links to how you can register for a vaccine in Northwest Ohio and in Southeast Michigan. And as a reminder, those who qualify right now are Ohio and 70 and older. And if you're 70 and older, you do need to schedule your own appointment. School staff also qualify, but you should not be scheduling your own appointment. Your district will reach out to you. Then starting next week, Ohioans 65 and older will also qualify. And before I go, I'm going to let you in on a little secret that could score you a few extra bucks if you plan to watch the Super Bowl this weekend. So Miller Lite is giving people a chance to win eight bucks, the cost of a six pack, for simply typing a URL during one of Michelob's Super Bowl commercials this Sunday. So once the ad airs, Miller Lite will tweet an image of the website URL, but here's the catch. You have to type it all in manually. They will display the URL in a way that people can't just copy and paste it. The first 5,000 people to enter the 836 character URL when Michelob Ultra's ad airs will get eight bucks sent to their Venmo. Seems like a lot of work for a six pack of beer, but hey, the information is out there if you wish to seize the opportunity. But that is all I have for you today. If you like this video, hit that like button and of course subscribe to our YouTube channel. I'm Jensen and now you are in the loop.